Hello everybody, today I play Local Convergence with developer commentary. I will begin um, through much of the dialogue as the dialogue the game becomes alone. And then again there is also the regular uh, playthroughs. Thank you for activating the in-game commentary. My name is Dave Gilbert. I am the head designer for Black Bull Convergence and CEO of Wadjadai Games. You'll see me pop up at many intervals throughout this game. I'll talk about behind-the-scenes stuff, decisions that were made, things that were changed or cut or what have you. Things that you might find interesting if you want to learn more about uh, the game and the company and how we do things and stuff. Some logistical information if you want to skip me talking. Just hit any key on the keyboard and I'll dutifully shut up and you can get back to the game. I do recommend that you play through the game at least once before activating this commentary as I'll be giving away some spoilers and stuff about the game. In any case, I will shut up now and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Alright. Let's go. A big feature of this game is rain, and this is uh, just rainy, cloudy, just overcast, just the sense of dread hanging over everything. I really wanted that atmosphere, and uh, I think we pulled it off. Hello? Anybody there? You're really expecting an answer. I was just checking. Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. Uh, there, no. Joey, the door is locked. Yeah, I can see that. Looks like it's up to me. Once again. I'm playing James by Jeremy Sams. Oh, so they mentioned Jeremy here. I don't remember this stuff. Okay. Guess I should have paid more attention. Hmm, charming. Well, what do you see? Nothing. Yet. I'll see if there's a way to open that door. Shiny object. Well, what could possibly this be? Looks like a paper clip. Hey, Dollface, I got a present for you. Joey, a paperclip just blew past my shoe. It's all yours, darling. What do I do with this? <laughs> Try opening the door with it. Does that actually work? Sure, why not? Abe Goldfarb is kind of the Wadjadai veteran now. He's kind of the heavy hitter. He's He does all the major roles in all of my games. He was in Shiva, Legacy, Unbound, this game. He was he had three roles in Emerald City Confidential. Um, he's just great. I'm just so happy to work with this guy. He's just total professional, a lot of fun to work with. Comes in, you know, just really focused. Um, everyone should hire this guy. You need a game that needs a voice, call Abe. He's awesome. I have no idea how to do this. Just keep trying, darling. It's an old door. It shouldn't be any trouble. It keeps slipping. This isn't going to... work. O oh, ye of little faith. No ghosts. Not yet. You think something's coming? Not sure. I feel... something. Might as well take a look around first. Those of you who followed me since my freeware game days remember a game called Bestowers of Eternity, which starred a kind of distant alternate version of Rosa Blackwell here. And in that game, she was wearing a light blue shirt with an overshirt, um, pants. She had the red hair, no glasses at the time, but but I knew I wanted Rosangela to have different clothes in this game. And I decided that she should wear her old outfit from Bestowers of Eternity. So it just kind of as an homage to my bygone innocent freeware days. That's uh, why she's wearing what she's wearing. All I could find was a newspaper clipping. Looks like an obituary. Let me look at the paper again. So, she 
chooses Nathan Brothers. Okay. Maybe she skipped that, but it's not me. Half the city would kill. Maybe somebody did. Um. Oh, Joey. Yeah. Oh, I Joey. think I found it. Well, will you look at that? What's he doing out there? There's only one way to find out. I am not climbing out onto the window ledge. What are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. All right, let's see what this spook has to say. Yeah, I know the drill. I'll wait here. He's a balding middle-aged guy. He looks kind of scared. Hello. Stay back. I mean it. I'll do it. Brian Silliman is the guy playing Alan, a uh, guy I met through Abe. Uh, the guy playing Joey. I think every actor or actress in this game I've met through Abe. Brian's a great actor. I've seen him perform many times. He uh, wrote and starred in a show with Shelley Chenoy, who did the voice of Josie Park in this game. So it's all one big, great, happy family. Uh, Brian actually is a big fan of the old school adventure games, so he thought it was really cool to be able to do this. What are you doing out here? I... I don't know. There's no place left for me to go. There's gotta be a better place than this. Come on inside. Don't come any close. I swear, I'll jump. Jump? You're here to kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else to do. Hey, let's get out of this rain. What rain? Um, this rain? Take a look around. It's pouring cats and dogs out here. I don't feel any rain. That's because... Ah, forget it. Expedite, you okay? Hey, are you <clears throat> Alan Riken? It's been a while, you might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. Although, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Did my wife put you up to this? Wife? No, no, just here for an old friend. Okay... I'm not sure who you are, but you seem to know me. What do you want to talk about? I've mentioned in previous commentaries that I like to name dead characters after people in the real world that I don't like. I used to have a boss whose last name was Riken, and that's all I'll say about that. Okay. Listen, Alan, concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem strange, out of place, or off kilter? No. You don't remember falling? Falling? I came out here and I haven't jumped. Right, right. Listen, Alan, concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem strange, out of place, or off kilt? No. You don't remember. I can't. I ha right. Surely things can't be all that bad. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose every- to have everything you loved and struck? I know something about that. Then you know what I'm going through. So what happened, Alan? What brought you to this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. That's no reason to kill yourself. You don't understand. I spent my life building this business. When it happened, I lost everything. Everyone deserted me. People I thought were Fred. Even Sandra. Sandra? My wife. Nice view, huh? Is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Makes you feel like you're king of the world. I used to feel that way. Now, I'm not sure. Where is your wife? She left. She won't even talk to me. I thought she'd stick by me. Okay. So one way is to get him inside and use um closer. And another way to make him so to speak awakened is to install him set up. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So your wife left you, huh? Yeah. Figures. What? Look at yourself. Everyone knows that if a ship is sinking, you will abandon it. I can't blame her for leaving. Anybody Mind can. Game. That's complete. Okay. The world's full of pretty broads, Alan. You shouldn't get all weepy over just one. Come on. Look at me. 
I'm pushing 50. What woman would want me? Um, you know, you're right. You're right. I can't think of any woman who would be attracted to you. You really think so? Sorry, pal. That's the way I see it. I always thought that. They really went all in on this. It hits very close to home. And business. Ah, man, this is cruel, even for me. One more blow to his ego, and he's bound to go over the edge. Do I really want to save him this way? Yep. He'll go over the edge. Again, talk about business. Tell him he's a failure as a businessman. So you ran your business into the ground? Well, yeah, I guess. And I thought you were a businessman. I am a businessman. Not anymore, you're not. No, I'm not. You're just a little man with a big office and a view he doesn't deserve. And you're way too old and tired to start over. Yeah, what's the point? I don't know what to do anymore. Oh, I think you do. I do? You're looking right down at it. You're right. You're so right. It's over. It's really interesting. It's, and it's getting so weird. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. See. Oh. Considering if he should be. I've been here before. I'm sorry. A little bit. But it was an accident. I wasn't really going to jump. To I was going to game. go back in. It's too late now. I slipped Where and fell. I didn't want to jump. I remember. I remember falling. The deacon. But maybe. Maybe it's so for late. the best. I didn't have much to live for anyway. I'm sorry, pal. So what now? I haunt this ledge forever? No, I'm here to help you move on. Just come inside with me. Okay. Are you ready, Alan? I guess. Just take a hold of this. All right. Okay, do it. Bum, 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 hmm. bum. I can't help but think we could have handled that better. Oh well. It's over now. You can see no one say anything. Not even at all, sir. Not our best work, but we got him in the end. I'd call this day done, wouldn't you? Yeah, although... What? Isn't there something we're supposed to do? I don't think... I feel like we're for... I'd ignore that feeling if I were you. You might have noticed by now that Rosangela's voice is different than it was in Blackwell Legacy. The original actress, whose name was Sandy Chen, she was unable to do the role this time around. She got a very demanding full-time job, which required her to do a lot of traveling. And she just wasn't around often enough. She, plus, she lives quite far away. When she did Legacy, she wasn't working and was in the city a lot. So it was easy for her to come and do the role. But it, when the time came to do the voice acting for this game, it just wasn't logical, feasible. Logistically, it just was not going to work. So we both agreed that it would be better if I recast the role. So I gave it to Rebecca Whitaker instead. More about her later. <laughs> Okay, and that was the first case for the day. 
12 steps to getting your first novel published. I never could get past step number four. 7 p.m. The Park Gallery with Nishanti. Uh oh. Oh, crap. What time is it? 7.15, damn. What's your problem? The gallery opening. Don't she invited us to go? Us. All right, me. You really want to go to some stupid gallery? We're going. I'm not flicking out on her again. It's not nice. Fine. Whatever. It's not like I have a choice. I picked up that clock at okay. a tax sale. I'm gonna have the clock. Just a bunch of old art. I don't know why. It's full of reject. Best place for them. This was the last article I wrote for the Village Eye. It was also my very first case as a medium. And there's the uh, R.A.E.'s name, which she promised not to or I think she said, at least she said she wasn't going to disclose her well. My father died in a car crash. Looking at this picture is like looking at a... My mother died in a car crash. She looks so young in this... Auntie looks kind of happy. I wonder what she was smiling about. Joey looks angry. Of course, that's nothing unusual. Because Joey wasn't happy for once, maybe? Reversing the roles? I don't know why I even bother keeping that. Remote controls don't work when Joey is around. When was the last time I watered that plant? I think it was a week ago. I'm surprised it's still alive. It's Griff, the P.I. Bear. I've had him since I was a kid. He's really starting to show his age. I'll water it later. Hey Griff, how are you today? Fluff all secure? Holding yourself together? Awesome. <laughs> I sold all of my books to a used books. Didn't take long for the... I picked this up at a tag sale. Some people think lava lamps are... It's fine where it is. With Joey around, it's impossible to get a decent reception. Somehow, he blocks... I got cable installed last month. Seems to do the trick, even though I rarely watch TV. Auntie Lauren and me, on the Brooklyn Bridge. I don't remember anything about that day. All my life, I wanted to know more about her. I look scared out of my mind. Maybe I could sense... If so, I had a good reason to be... We almost look like a real family with Joey St The most dysfunctional family in the country. It's an African ghost drum. It's supposed to keep... It doesn't work. It's fine where it is. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe we can check Joey, with... come here. Joey? This had better be important, sweetheart. Yep. I'm thinking of getting a new computer. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's been kind of slow and clunky lately. Well, you'd know more about slow and clunky than me. Hmm. I'm thinking of... What? Hmm. That's okay. all for now? Sure. Let's chat a sec. Sure, what's up? I never knew you were such a fan of art. I'm not. Then why are you dead set on going to this thing? I'm not flaking out on Nishanti again. Why not? You've done it before. I know, and I don't feel good about it. Besides, you said it yourself. We've got nothing else to do. Nothing sounds pretty good to me. Having trouble? I don't know the address. Oh, shame. Oh, I was supposed to say well, that. Yes. They have to go about it again. <laughs> okay. Females, lots of females. Which I'm not going to read this time. <clears throat> Here we go. The Park Gallery. It's on 18th Street by... Uh, let's go and get this over with. In my first commercial game, The Shiva, you could enter stuff into a computer. There weren't a lot of things you could enter, but it, it, it kind of got you more involved in looking stuff up. And in Legacy, I got rid of it, where you just used the notebook to look stuff up. And it, it took the challenge out of it. And I brought back the, um, the typing interface for Unbound, and people 
seemed to like that a lot better. So I brought it back in full force here. So uh, your comments work. You coming? Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. What the hell? Okay, um... It's the trash room. There's nothing in here. Not even commentary. Not Thomas bad. Reagan really outdid himself with this soundtrack. You'll hear themes from Unbound and Legacy kind of interwoven into Convergence, and there's some themes... There's like two or three themes just for conversions that are interwoven throughout the entire thing. Um, if you go to the gallery, Monique's office, and uh, at the Mineta, you'll hear the same kind of theme throughout. Um, it's just very beautifully done and very subtly done. And the saxophone is just amazing. It's a real saxophone. Um, he has a saxophonist friend who, uh, who who did that for the soundtrack. And it's just beautiful. I just, I'm a little biased, but I just love the soundtrack. Uh, Thomas Reagan really did an amazing job. Uh, you all should hire him if you need game music. Go call Thomas. He's awesome. Wow, I feel cultured already. Shh! Hi, are you here for the opening? Yes. Great, but I'm sorry. The public opening's in two- Oh no, I'm Nishanti Sharm. Really? Let me- Nish? Nish? Yes? Someone here says she knows you. That must be Rosa. Okay, thanks. Sorry about that. You know how it is. Sure. Anyway, I'm Josie Park. Man, she's clever. I bet she came up with that. Go on in. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. The Park Gallery is a place I made up. It's not a real gallery. But the address is a location where there are tons of galleries, and not only tons of galleries, there are tons of fly-by-night galleries, lots of galleries that open and close, tons of openings and things like that. So these types of events happen quite often in that area. Hi, sorry I'm late. Don't worry about it. How'd you find the place? The internet. Oh, of course. I should really try using it one of these days. I know I've been kind of flaky. Oh, don't worry about that. No need to stress on my account. Besides, you look exhausted. I'm fine. All right, if you say so. So, who's your friend? I'm sorry, that this is Monique Stallman. Monique, this is my neighbor, Rose, the one I was telling you about. You were talking about? She was just telling me that she had a famous writer for a neighbor. Famous? I haven't had anything published yet. She writes ghost stories, Monique. Nish, please. Go on, tell her. It's hardly the time or place. What's wrong? Oh, Monique. I wouldn't call it fascinating. Please, it sends shivers down my spine. Wait until you hear it. It's about Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons? The actor? Nish, please. Sorry, Monique, just getting carried away. I would like to hear the story, actually. See? I told- Well, all right. But let's not talk about it here. Here's my card. If you want to talk, drop by my office tomorrow. We can discuss it in private. Thanks. I'll drop by. Thanks for inviting me. I'm glad you could make it for a while. I was worried that I'd be here all by myself. But Monique was interesting company. So, how are you doing? Oh, you know, same old thing. Practicing my flute, walking, although this weather isn't making it easy. I think I'll browse around. Sure, Rosa. Enjoy yourself. This painting is called The Dark Lady. I don't think Josie would like that. Hi there. Josie Park, was it? Yeah, that's me. And you are? Rosangela Blackwell. Rosangela? What a neat name. Anyway, nice to meet So, are you? Yeah. Well, if I say we're open. Ooh, watch out. She's so sharp, she might cut herself. <laughs> wow. You have some interesting... Yeah, interesting's the... You like that? Sure. Did you hear that? Yeah. He's convinced that... She said she liked... Oh, you... So, you're a friend of... Oh, Nish? She comes to all... So, you're the artist? Yeah. This is... Some discovery. Yes, and I've seen you improve... When I got the funding to open this... We're having the public open... Don't count on it. Well, I'm going to look around. Sure, have fun. I know that area. That's Astor Place. 
By an astounding coincidence, Astor Place is one block away from where I live, and in the middle of Astor Place, there is a giant sculpture of a cube. Hence the name Cube Star for this film company. So that is some New York-based Blackwell trivia for you, so you can impress your friends when it's sure to come up in conversation. Nice. Okay, Joey. I know that type. All cool and confident, but it's all plastic. With a little bit of pressure, that plastic will crack. Applied pressure. Ooh, you feel that? Feel <laughs> what? The draft. I'll have to get the super to look into that. Do you feel a draft? No. Why? Hmm. Must be under a vent. <laughs> Is there a window open? I thought I felt. Well, never mind. Are you all right? Fine. Just to chill. I always get them when it rains. Okay. Hey. Are you finished? <laughs> That's all I see. All right. We're done here. Rosa, you're not leaving now, are you? Um... Um, actually... We were just about to get started on the walk. Come on, come on, let's get out of here. Well, please stay. We Working with Rebecca as Rosa was, was interesting, because Rebecca as a person is a very confident, very outgoing, very outspoken young lady, shall we say, and Rosa is, is not. And uh, it was just interesting seeing her kind of internalize all of that energy into, into Rosa. It was really quite neat to see. And she did kind of have these little outbursts where she would just say something really just mad crazy funny. If you uh, play the game and get access to the bloopers, you'll see what I mean. But she would just come in and have so much fun. It was just, she just had so much fun doing it. It was just a blast to work with her. So I hope to, she'll, she'll stick around because I don't want to have to recast this a third time. Actually, I'm gonna leave. No, I'd better go. Thank you. You sure? Yeah, I'm kind of tired, but thanks anyway. You do look worn out. All right, go home and rest. Try not to work so hard, okay? Life's too short. Yeah, tell me about it. <clears throat> what happened? How did I get here? My, my, you have grown up so much. What? Someone who has been here far too long. I don't understand. It does not matter. Continue. Your time will... I just pray that you are ready. Madeline I envisioned as Madame de Pompadour, kind of this very high-class French woman and, and that... that dress and, and tiara kind of thing kind of walking around talking like a disapproving mother or <laughs> she she's really a cool character i i wish i could give her more play in this game i deliberately kept her appearance short because i felt that there was so much backstory being thrown at you i didn't want to completely overwhelm you we've already got the countess and joseph mitchell and joe gould the, madeline is also part of it but you'll find out her part of the whole story in another installment. Right now, I kind of wanted to introduce her, be all mysterious, and then kind of fade away. So you'll see more of her later, but for now, she's just uh, deliberately enigmatic. Hey, you're up. Good morning. It's a bright new day, and we've got a brand new ghost to nab. Yeah, I know. Tick tock, doll. Let's get moving. The advantage of doing sequels is that you can have character development, and I think Rosa has developed as a character between her two games. The first game, she was so socially awkward, and there were a lot of criticisms of this. She was so socially awkward that I think it made her a little hard to relate to, and I totally get that criticism. And for this game, I still wanted to keep her socially awkward because that's a very core part of who she is, but um, I wanted to make her a little bit more mature about her situation, and she's got this very intellectual curiosity. She's very analytical. She's a writer. That, that's what she does. She was a reporter in a way, and there's a, I wanted to kind of bring those qualities forward more than the social awkwardness. As you can see, there's a lot of social awkwardness in the game, in Rosa, uh, which provides some of the more funny moments, but I kind of wanted that to take a back seat to her other qualities, which I hope shine. Um, 
what it's called. Hey, they actually have information on it. Um, there was something else. Oh, god, but, um, that's not until much later. I think I have to research him, maybe not, okay. Let's see, do they have plenty of money? Nope. Okay. Present the Jet Setting Millionaire Playboys in your club. Sure, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Let's see. Oh wait, I... Uh, <laughs> I tapped <laughs> Gilbert, that makes no sense. Oh. Um... I know if I spot those correctly, but come on, let's get going. I have more stuff to do anyway. <clears throat> come in. Hi, Monique. Oh, you're an Ashanti's friend. Yeah, that's- You left early last- Yeah, sorry. I was kinda tired. No need to make excuses. I wish I had the judgment to leave like you did. I had to endure that place for three more hours. Monique's voice acting has an interesting history. Uh, it was recorded three times. The first time, the actress Whoa. was just so, uh, not fond of her work that she actually stopped in the middle and said, I don't think I can do this, and left, quit. So I couldn't use her. Whoa. I recast the role. And uh, when I listened to it later, it was just so corrupted and, and weird and modulated, and I couldn't bring the actress back. She was she was busy doing other stuff, um, so I had to recast it a third time and re-record. Uh, and this is Ronika Reddick, who um, is doing Monique now. So by the time it was done, I uh, was very familiar with Monique's dialogue. You bet I would have been too <laughs> if that happened to me. Um... Alright, let's talk about it. <clears throat> so, what- I'm the ex- In and out- She- So, you have- Oh. Nishanti said it- Yes. It was all over- Oh, yeah. I know he died, but- Yes, he's dead. He died while filming. It was tragic. We found a lookalike. That should have been the end of it. Really? No. People only turned up because of man's- For years, we tried to create a money. Be careful what you wish for. So, what happened ne next? I hear him. You hear him? Over in Central Park, near the Gothic Bridge. It's where he died. I pass the area every- I can swear I hear him. Really? It's like he's- We profited from his- But what could we do? Anyway, that's my ghost story. I say we take it. We haven't been to the park in a while. Oh, why not? I saw a cat on the- Oh, her? The company adopted her. She Thanks for the chat, Mooney. Sure. Okay, that's it for now. This, um... Reminds me. Oh, she knows the location. Makes sense, actually. Um, let's see, do they have tools for Frank Lyons? Except for the fatal heart attack. Let's film water under the bridge. Okay. Um, do they have any information about this? Nope. How about Central Park? No. I think the cure begins. Um how about Central Park? Well, I had to try. <laughs>
originally I wanted this location to be by the water. Um, I would thought Chelsea Piers would be a good place for this uh, for this <clears throat> scene. But when I went to Chelsea Piers to take some reference photos, it just wasn't as interesting and dynamic and, and cool as I thought it would be. It was actually kind of drab. And we already did the water, you know, ghost by a, the water thing in Blackwell Unbound. So uh, I decided to change it to Central Park instead. <laughs> Um, hi there. I knew you'd come. How did you know? I know you, Vaughn. The Vaughn? Um, okay. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Never mind. Yeah, I knew you'd come. No. I knew okay. you'd come. Joey? Hello? Oh, you with the company? Company? Oh. They told me to meet him. Playing Frank Lyons here is Francisco Gonzalez. And a few years ago, after uh, we finished Unbound, he emailed me and said that for my next game, he wanted to play a ghost. So <laughs> I kept this role aside specifically for him. So uh, that's all you, Francisco. I say, play Dwayne, Are you Frank Lyons? You recognize me? Sure. That's... Thank you. Hey, I live to please. So Frank... Oh, you know, just one scene. Done is the work. Hmm? Never mind. So... Yep, the film is... Really? Yeah. Actually, I'm... Just don't tell anyone. Oh, lip... Are you sure... Yeah. Where are all... You know, they should be on their... Could you tell me what do you mean? I was... Yes? The Minetta. The Minetta? Yeah, I was there. I'm... Just... Minetta? Yeah, what is it? The Minetta. I'm famous there, you know. You can always find the billing ear there. And some donations for the fun. The fun? Yes. They... Why are you talk talking like... Like you... So, oh, I'm just, just walking. Oh, come. I don't really need it. I'm not in the magazine. I just want to finish what I. What can you tell? Me? Installment? I just want to. You expect? Yeah. I could swear I saw. Well, see. Sure. Damn it! Where is that woman? Uh, okay, so I have to put the minute on. I always pride myself, uh, if there's if there's a location in a Blackwell game that's based on a real-life location, I always pride myself on making sure it's accurate. Um, and the Mineta, which is a real place on McDougal and Mineta Lane in New York City, is a real place. And at the time I started this project, uh, this background was true to life. The Mineta did look like this. Unfortunately, over the course of production, the Mineta was sold, bought by someone else, and then completely renovated. Uh, it actually looks very much the same. It's a lot cleaner, there's a lot more uh, tables in the front here for people to sit down and eat. Usually the front was just a bar. And I used to love going there because it was so quiet and empty, which is probably why it had to be sold in the first place. But um, it was just great because it was like Frat Boy Row, that area, McDougal Street. And it was that was the one place that was always empty and there was a sense of old New York about it, which I really liked. Uh, and now, of course, it's a lot more popular and there's the place is always slammed, so I don't go there as often as I used to. But um, it's still a cool place to go. It's definitely a taste of old New York, so you should go. Check it out. Hi. Afternoon. What can I get for you? Oh, no. Go on. Maybe it'll help you relax. I was hoping you could answer some questions for me. Really? Yeah, is that a- No, it's just that this never happened to me before. You always see bartenders being questioned in the movies, but it never actually happens. You a detective? Something like- Cool, how can I help? The bartender, the image, the face and design of the Mineta bartender here is based on a real-life person, the winner of the uh, of a Blackwell fan art contest that I hosted uh, like fall, summer of 2008. Uh, the guy called himself Mudajon. 
or Muta Motijan. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, he made Blackwell characters. He made Rosa and Joey out of clay. It was the coolest thing I ever saw, and he won the fan art contest easily. And the grand prize was that you will be made into a Blackwell character. And uh, he was made into the Manetta bartender. So this one's for you. What can you tell me about the Manetta? Been here forever. 60 or 70 years. I've only been here a few weeks. Have you ever been to the park yet? No, sorry. Does a Monique... Never heard of her. I was wondering if you... Frank Lyons, the actor? Didn't he die a few months ago? Yeah, he did. I think he might have come here before he died. Hmm, well, we get all sorts in here, but I don't think we've ever seen him. You might notice that the combining clue interface is gone from the game. It was a feature in Blackwell Legacy and Blackwell and Banner. You can combine clues to get more clues and, and use those to proceed through the investigation. I got rid of it, and um, it was a tough decision to make, but in the end I felt it was best. A lot of people complained about it. They were really annoyed because they would make a connection in their head, but the character wouldn't make that connection until they performed the manual task of combining these clues. And most of the time, people forgot this clue interface was there. And I have to admit, it wasn't a very intuitive thing to think of when you're when you're playing through a game. So in the end, I just got rid of it, and I made everything a lot more streamlined. Um, maybe I will bring it back. Actually, I probably will bring it back if I could figure out a, a better way of making it work. But uh, I <laughs> I still can't figure out a, make, a way to make it work. If anyone has any suggestions, send them my way. I do miss the notebook interface, and I do want to bring it back. But uh, for this game, uh, it had to go. Oh, wait. I do not to summon the picture. I think I had to. It's a portrait of an old man. A portrait. Um... Black and white. I don't recognize. Ask him about that. Hi there. No. Got sure. Nope. Okay. So. Come in. Oh, hello. This poster is for stars. For this poster is star. Those account I can't imagine. Monique looks pretty cool and Hmm, I have to say the view is quite nice from up here. I'm not very good about writing nice. love stories. I knew it. Or things like that. I don't write my games with many romantic I knew elements there would be a in mind. Point. Mainly because I'm not very good at that kind of stuff. Uh, but one day, maybe uh, maybe not the next game, but maybe the game after that or sometime soon, I'm going to challenge myself and try to write a love story. But until that happy day arrives, <laughs> this is the closest I'll probably come. Joey is very obviously in lust with Monique, and it's something that kind of came spontaneously when I was writing dialogue for uh, for this room. I was trying to give Joey lines about things in the room, and it just came off as being very bland. But then I, I decided to give him some context. Everything he looks at, he thinks of in the context of Monique. And it really worked out that well. He's like, yeah, I guess it's okay, but I'd rather look at this instead. And he kind of objectifies Monique in that way. And uh, what's great about Joey is he can get away with that crap because he's, he's very harmless in, in that respect. Uh, so this, this was fun to write for. Just some books for the number crunchers. I don't think we need to bother with it. Water on what a boring time. Ah, the quivering of her back means that I did good. <laughs> yeah, the view is oak, okay, although I prefer the view from this angle. I'm not very good about writing love stories or romance or things like that. Okay. I don't... So that is the same... Don't for... <clears throat> Have you ever heard of a... Sorry. Tell me about Frank. He was—he could read his lines and hit his marks and look, he didn't demand much and he was easy to work. We set him up with an apartment nearby. That reminds me, we still haven't moved to Slough to get on that. You really rented him an apartment? Not really. The company couldn't pay him much, so... Can you give me the... Of Frank's old apartment? I just wanted to... I ask you. Research. You're very dedicated. I'd like to give Frank some... What else can you... Is it relevant? Not really. Then there you... What do you think of Jo- Ugh, Josie's a sweet woman, but her tail you left before I did. 
Thanks for the chat, Mo. Sure. Okay, so let me go out and then maybe come back again. Nope, it's not raining yet. Um, maybe talk to him. Hello, Frank. Oh, hey. Hey, Frank, could you t Uh, so- Aw, oh, come on. I really don't think so. So t Oh, I'm just- I just walk and talk the- <laughs> Oh, come- I don't really need anything else. I'm not in the magazines, but- I just want to finish what I start. Well, sure. Nope. Uh, maybe I had to go back to... Moses' place? Hey, Joe? Uh-huh. That's all for sure. Joey? What? Have you ever heard of a multiple personality disorder? You mean schizo? Yeah. Watching you talk to Frank made me think about them. Two ghosts for the price of one? This day is getting better and better. For sure, for That's sure. all for now? Sure. You coming? All right. Still not ready. Um. Come. Okay. I don't remember what trade oh, is that. Hello. Please don't. There's a re. Let's talk, Joe. For help, then. What? So what should we should probably learn more about this? Where do movie stars hang out anyway? He's not much of a star, Joe. Right now, he's not much of a. That's all for sure. I was just saying, he's not much of a. Come on, let's go. But the partner didn't tell me anything. Hi there. Sure, ask. What are the chances of you knowing where Frank- You a groupie or something? Oh, no. <laughs> Hell, either way, I can't. Yep. Are you sure you've never- Yeah, I'm quite sure. I think he's telling the truth. What can you tell- The Mineta? 60 or 70. I've only been here a few weeks myself. What can you tell- The Mineta? Okay. Hmm. I don't remember what else is- There's nothing but empty- yeah. Oh, Joey has to It's a portrait of, It's a portrait Wasn't there a ghost of you? Already? It's a portrait It's a portrait Sure, look at it Nope Still not ready Huh Hello, Frank Oh, hey Funny th they never heard of you. Why would they? You said you went- I've never heard of the place. You told me you were famous. Famous? Yeah, famous at the Mineta. The Mineta? I go there all the time. It's like my second home. But you just said- Say, could you spare some money for the Joe Gould fund? Ah. Joe Gould is such an old-style New York character. You just don't get folks like that in New York anymore. The wandering bohemian going out from alehouse to alehouse, just telling wild stories for the price of a drink and stuff. Uh, so Joe Gould is an interesting character, uh, especially if you have read Joe Gould's Secret by Joseph Mitchell. If you haven't, go read it. It's, it's still in print. It's an amazing book. 
Uh, it's a great character study of this crazy guy, Joe Gould. And it was very inspiring to me when I read it. Uh, as you can tell, I've sort of developed it into a huge chunk of the backstory for Blackwell. So you can see how inspiring it was for me. So go check it out. It's a really interesting book. Joe Gould Fund? What's that? What's, What's what? what? The Joe Gould. I have no idea. But you just... I wish I remembered this. Or I just fixed the game and research Joe Gould, see if it will show me anything. Could you tell me what... Why, you want to donate a couple of dollars? I would, if you could tell me what it was... For the upkeep and maintenance of Joe Gould's everywhere, of course. Any Joe Gould in particular? <laughs> Who's <laughs> Joe, Joe Gould? Gould you know what? Never... I'm getting a... Okay. Oops. Well, sure. <laughs> Endless hum. Interesting. If I do this, I found an entry, but I have no idea why I looked it up. I have no idea why you do lots of things. I'll just pretend I never read it. Really? So that when you have to have read it. Yeah, I'll have to do the work again. Okay, what else was in the game? Something, I think, cold water? Was it... Gym? No. John? Jack? <laughs> I don't know his name. Um. Oh, go. Oops. Go click. This is kind of grim news. I wonder why I looked it up. Is it important? Maybe later it will be. But for now, I'll just forget I ever read it. Okay. <laughs> for now, I'll just forget I ever read it. I don't need it here. And here comes the rain. Um, what do I have to go? Oh, yeah. That's right. Come in. Need the dress for Frank Lawrence's apartment. Oh. Oh, Ilsa, you're back. Make yourself at home. Originally, there was no rain at this point in the game, and the cat just kind of <laughs> came in arbitrarily. And a lot of the testers were annoyed by that. They were like, why is the cat coming in? You know, it's just such an arbitrary, arbitrary thing. And so I decided to make it rain, and they became less bothered by it, because, yeah, the cat's coming in out of the rain, so it makes more sense. So uh, that's why it's raining now. Yeah, it does make more sense. I I like it this way more. Really, there is a bit, something has changed in the world. Hey, little fella. She's a little black cat. She's wearing a little collar with an eye. All right, Elsa. Let's see what's on your ID. 12th Street and Avenue A. Hopefully that's where we need to be. This that's puzzle was a bit see. different to start. It involved Joey scaring the cat, and the cat leaping off the chair and landing on the floor. And uh, if you had Rosa in the spot where the cat landed, she would catch the cat and would be able to look at the ID tag that way. And this didn't work because, number one, you had to have the uh, out-of-the-box thought of putting Rosa in, a sp in that certain spot. And also what would end up happening is that there were so many spots where Rosa could still catch the cat if she was standing there. And it just got really, really complicated. And so I just 
changed it to this, which is a lot simpler and, and a lot more fun, I think. I just love that animation of Joey waving his tie around. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. But that initial idea wasn't that bad, but it was maybe so randomized. Mm, I don't know. I bet a lot of people would have been stuck on that part. Because I had to be in this specific location. The far east village is full of apartment buildings like this. Uh, I actually had a friend who lived in one of them, and the first time I went in I was like, wow, this is so old-fashioned. But then I kind of realized it wasn't just old-fashioned, it was just really old. It had the, um, you know, that, those, those gate elevators, and it had like all that old-style kind of paint, but it hadn't been painted in like 50 years, it was just very old. And um, it had that cool old-fashioned look, though, which I love, like anything from the 40s I love, but it just hadn't been touched since the 40s. And it was a rent-controlled apartment, which is why my friend was staying there. And uh, I figured, Frank, he was staying in a rent-controlled apartment, it would have to be in the Far East Village and look like this. So this is very true to life, right here. Nice. Okay. That's Frank Lyon's door. For it. I'm gonna try this. Key? Who needs a key? How's it going there? Oh, just fine. Almost got it. Uh-huh. Any second now. Damn it! What happened? The paperclip broke. It broke? It's jammed in the lock. We couldn't get a key in there now, even if we had... The master criminal at work. Once again, it's up to the dead guy to sort things out. Be my guest. One thing I realized when uh, I was like halfway through testing is that why on earth are the lights still on? Uh, that's one thing I realized later on, but none of the testers seem to have picked up on it. Uh, but I did. It bothers me, but <laughs> it's too late to change it now. But then again, it looks maybe a little bit better. A little bit grimoire if they were all. Maybe that would have been better. I don't know, maybe we got down the lights. Who knows? It looks like a s I think I read not that big a deal. Maybe Frank had a cold before at least I hope so. Oh sweet up to the cat I guess. I don't recognize I think, what's the anything else to look for here, except for the paper? I think this is called, a uh, plays movies. Looks like Frank was a collector of old film. I wonder what he played. A bunch of magazines related to the celebrity gossip. It's nice to see that there's nothing in there, but... Looks like a film... You sure this guy was in pictures? He didn't even have a hot tub. Was he supposed to? If I was in pictures, I'd have a hot tub. Well, naturally. Although, I did find something interesting. What? There was a piece of paper just... Do you remember what was on? Of course I do. Of course I do. I'm Sounds like a film script. Close. Probably. You ever hear these lines in a flick? No. I haven't gone to the movie. Nah, makes no difference. Alright, let's get out of here. <clears throat> Where is that woman? There she is. Hi again. I knew you'd come. How did you know- I know you, Vaughn. Um... Look, I just wanted to- Are you sure that's right? Yes, just- No, let's, let's try, try again. What are you talking- <clears throat> I knew you'd- Wait, was there? Or How did you- I know you'd- Look at it. Could I ask you a Huh? Oh, come Let's try. <clears throat> I knew you. Never. Yeah, look at Where is that one? Hey, Joey, do you remember what? Of course I. 
assume she doesn't Last know it. Shoot of the film, then we're done. Hi again. Or maybe I knew you again. How did you I know? Okay, then Yvonne. Come on. Um. Okay. <clears throat> I knew you. That's not right. How did you know I? I know you. I've got. Yeah. Is that right? No, wait. Hey, Joey. I know do this. Or you know it's not. Tell us something. Oh. Right. I think I him as Joey for us. Hello, Frank. Oh, hey. Oh, I did not ask about well, Joe's sure. gold. Maybe I, I again. should have. I knew you. How did you know? I know you, Vaughn. I've got you. Yeah. Okay, let me go ask. And then I'll come back. Maybe that's the thing. Hi there. Sure. I Oops. Hi there. Sure. I Have you ever heard of? J <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Sometimes I think they should just rename. Them. Really? People hear about him and they. That's his portrait up there. He died a long. Who was he? He was some homeless guy who won. He told some crazy story. He referred to the money as the. J he also tried to write a book or something. He never finished. Nope. Hey, sounds like you're. I mentioned earlier that the Mineta had been renovated by a new owner, and the one casualty of that renovation was the Joe Gould portrait. It's no longer there. It's off the wall. It's gone. And this absolutely just destroyed me, because back in the day, back in the day, five years ago, uh, I was really inspired by this portrait. I would often go into the Mineta, sit at a table underneath this portrait, and I would write. I designed most of the Blackwell games sitting under there. I designed all of Shiva under there. Uh, even a chunk of my old freeware games I designed while sitting under that Joe Gould portrait. I can't quite explain why it was so inspiring, but it was. And it really kind of destroys me that no one else can be inspired by it like I was. It's such an arbitrary decision. Hopefully one day they'll come to their senses and put the portrait back up. But, um... You know, in the meantime, at least you can play Blackwell virtually, go into the Bonetta and, and look up the Joe Gould portrait, even if you uh, can't do it in real life. Well, the people may into it, that's why. It's a portrait of Joe Gould. I love you so much. Okay, um, I think that's it, maybe? Oops. I again. I knew you. How did you- I know you. No. Listen, I- Come on. Oh, that was- you aren't going. I'm not going. Oops, that not was going. actually what I was supposed to do. What do you mean you're not going? Um... The I still. said I'm not going. You're staying? Yes! I, um... Or Tom? Tom. Tom? What's that idiot? He's, uh... He's a good man, Zack. And he needs me. And what about me? You don't need me, Zack. You never did. Huh? That's not in the script. Wait. Wait. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about this. <laughs> being Just forget this. me. Be f Yvonne, wait. Yvonne. Yvonne. <laughs> All right. Finished. Finally. Not sure hey, Monique. Mentioned when's the rap party again? Zach, when my Monique. Regular, Where is she? Say, Where is don't think everybody? I searched. Hey, come on, guys. There, but this is weird. Hey, baby. Where did everybody go? We done? Can I go now? Oh, uh, okay. So we are done. That's Frank. a wrap. Rebecca, thank God. We just finished the Rebecca. scene, right? So where did everybody go? I'm not Rebecca, Frank. What? Of course you. Only Rebecca could have finished the scene. Something's not right. Something... I was here. Here it comes. Only Rebecca could have finished I'm the scene. I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. I'm a ghost and I'm haunting my last film. That's so... Cliche. I'm sorry, Frank. 
So what now? Just relax and take a hold of this. Okay, do it. Ow! I gotta work on my landings. It's so bright. It should hurt my eyes, but it doesn't. I don't think it's real light. It's beautiful. Just head towards it, Frank. You know, my very first acting role was a ghost. I was eight years old. We put on- I played Scary Ghost Number 3. Funny the things you remember. It wasn't a bad life. I might not have made it big, but I made- How many can say the same, huh? Not many. No, not many. I've had a pretty good run. I just wish I knew who choked me to death. Yeah. Wait, what? You weren't choked. You had a heart attack. No, I was choked. I remember it distinctly. The news reports all said it was a heart attack. No disrespect, but I think I know how I died. The large hands around my neck? You don't forget a thing like that. Why would the press lie about how you died? I don't know. You think that they'd love a story of funny. It doesn't even bother me. I think I'm ready to go. Wait, hold on a second. No can do. I gotta fly. See you around, and thanks. Just a few questions. Damn it. Whoop. Too late. Huh? Hey? Uh... Hey, what the... I'm warning you! You? No, it can't be. I can still help you. Playing the Countess here is Renika Reddick, and I first saw her in a play uh, with Brian Sullivan, who plays Alan, uh, and Shelley Shinoy, who plays Josie, and I was so impressed by how much energy she had. She actually played a witch. Uh, named Sharkana, and she got onto stage and she just let out this huge laugh and she bellowed and she just had so much energy and as soon as I saw her I'm like I want to use her voice for something and uh, but every time I, I could I could have used her she was always away or she had another role couldn't commit to it and the, the timing the stars aligned and I was able to, to nab her for this and uh, I was just really happy to use her no oh, you're dead aren't you so many dead, so many blight upon the earth. Tell me something I don't know. Oh, the Did you kill Frank? So good. I help. You want me to die? I can help like you, Austin. No way, not again. This ends now. Why do you resist? Resist? I'll show you resist. I see you. I know you. You don't know Jack, lady. Joey? Clear off, kid. Get back. It's her. After all this time... Hey, you stay away from her, you... I... I'm sorry. Joey... <sighs> Trouble. Well? Well what? Who is she? Her? She's nobody's sweetheart. Just some spook. She attacked you, Joey. Why did she do that? I have no idea. You think I've got all the answers? Well, you're wrong. I'm just in the dark as you are. You're lying. You recognized her, and she knew you. Tell me, Joey. <sighs> yeah, I know her. She's from an old case. She was alive then, and just as crazy. Tell me. Look, it's late. You want to be up all night, or you want the short version? Tell me every- We thought we'd see- We were invented and take- So she was- Not- She thought- A medium? Yeah, old. There was this rep- He didn't know it, but she was free- But they were still alive. She didn't seem to re- In the end, she tried to- So- You stopped her? We just did. So what now? I don't think so. Besides, I saw her die. So she's not a- I don't know what she- Let's talk about this. Right now I'm taking a hot shower and go- Sure, sure, I'll- One of my biggest problems with the Unbound and Legacy is that- majority of the game is just pure investigation and then there's a, a big climax at the end and then the game is over and this game what I really wanted to do is what I wanted to kind of have a number of smaller climaxes leading up to the big climax at the end I wanted to have in more exciting interesting things happen during the game uh, so there's more of a constant payoff uh, so I hope I pulled that off oh well, not bad not bad at all Uh, poor Delu, enthralled to a madness that even a 
madness called the Countess. I... We have spoken before, but it is not important. But hush, aren't you tired? Tired? Shh. That's it. You will not remember. Noni, believe it or not, is a relative. Yes, I'm actually hiring relatives now. Uh, Noni is my dad's cousin. I'm not sure what that makes her, like my second cousin, once removed, I don't know. But she's my dad's cousin. And uh, I knew her ever since I was young. She was always very vibrant and very energetic. And then uh, several years ago, she started getting into voice acting. And then I didn't even know. And then she came on board for Emerald City Confidential uh, just to try. And she was just so awesome uh, that I, I knew I wanted to use her for this. And uh, I was so glad to work with her. She's just so much fun. Um, and she's family. So that's nice too. Good morning. You're perky today. Sleep well? Yeah, I d I've been think- Too much has happened. What do you mean? In the gallery, a painting. Really? I knew it looked- What did it look like? Why don't we head over and- Okay, I'll be right back. I'm ready if you are. All right. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm glad you came. Oh, not at all. No problem. If you played Blackwell Unbound or Emerald City Confidential, you might recognize the voice actress. Her name is Shelley Smith Shinoy. Uh, and Blackwell Unbound, she was just known as Shelley Smith. Uh, that's before she got married. She played Mavis in Blackwell Unbound, and she played Trot and Glinda in Emerald City Confidential. So she's become one of my regulars, along with Daryl and, and some other people. So uh, you'll be hearing her again. Anyway, I have to go over some stuff. Feel free to look around. There. It's her. I knew. Now look at that and tell me this isn't a coincidence. Stupid old hag. We'll find you. Just... Definitely looks like the woman from the other. It's just a lighthouse. I wonder which one. I don't know, maybe you should ask. Hi, Joe. Yes? Hi, Joe. I'm kinda swamped. Tell me about. Oh, he made his living, but he's too much, don't you think? Oh, yes. See? I'd like to know more. Oh, it's different. I'm worried the investors won't. What do you want to know? Where can I f Knowing him? He's pre- Preparing? You know. Glug glug. He's hitting the saw. Ah. Uh. 
what can you tell me about? Well, it's different. Claude's work is mostly... Did Claude ever... No, but she's definitely... She strikes all right. I still got the scars. Claude gets weird when I ask who she is or why he put her in front of the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. Uh -huh. I figure it's just one of... The Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. It's been a while since I've been over there. Okay. You mentioned some... Oh, yes. The Meltzer Foundation. They paid for everything. I've got to pay them back eventually. How much do- Oh, I can't- But if you're in- I'll discount- Oh, no thanks. Translate- Oh. So, how's everything- Oh, you know. This is my first- Can you tell me any- Oh, those guys are a godsend. Without them, I never would have been able to- I presented them with my plan. That's pretty generous. I never thought I was venture capital- I'll have to pay them back, of course, and give- It's my life's dream, re Have you ever heard of Joe- G No. Do you know anything about spook? Imagine someone just d poor Monique. Yeah, traumatized all the way to the. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a place? No. Okay. Thanks, Josie. Sure as a. Here we are. I don't see any ghosts. Nope, seems clean. Really? You sure? I said there's nothing here. Well, no ghosts anyway. You visit Roosevelt Island in Blackwell Unbound, and you come back again in Blackwell Convergence. Uh, there's something about this lighthouse that I just absolutely love. Whenever I go to Roosevelt Island and walk on the promenade, I always make a point of going to this lighthouse. I just think it's just really cool. Uh, just a neat location. And I always wanted to put it in a game, so uh, I did. Oh, good. Okay. I read a book about this. Nobody uses this lighthouse anymore. I read a nobody. Let's see. Lost Mineta. Dr. Claude. Claude? Yes. Rose Angela Black. Oh, yeah. I remember you leaving. Playing Claude is Daryl Lathan. He was. Cecil in Blackwell Unbound, and he was Isaac in Blackwell Unbound. Uh, doing Claude um, was a lot of fun. Daryl has this funny way of working where he just kind of starts babbling nonsense as a way to just get his mouth working, and it just always cracks me up to, to listen to him work. So, Daryl's awesome. I'd like to talk to you about... I'd love to. I really like that painting. My paintings aren't meant to be. They are meant to be understood, but... No. I'd really like to know- I have a rule. I don't talk about my work unless I'm- How drunk is that? I'm not sure, but I'm working on- Bit early to- Thanks. My opening is tonight, and I intend to be well and truly plastered. It's the only way I'll- Can you tell me anything- Those are the guys who are funding- Yeah. You'd have to talk to Josie. You know about- Sure I do. He was one of the city's last genius. Or maybe he was just not. Either way, he's famous now. Did he just say Joseph Mitchell? Yep. Yeah, he did. Could you tell me more about Joseph Mitchell? Another of the city's great genius. He could talk to you for five minutes and then write a biography that made you They wouldn't be alive for long. But then he stopped writing. Nobody knows. He published a book about Joe Gould, and then poof. He went to his office at the New Yorker every day for 30 years. Could you tell me? He was a genius. He paid. Why? Who's run? He called it the aura. And that made him a think about it. After Joseph Mitchell. Gould was that interesting. It was said that the city. Maybe it was true. Maybe. But to even attempt such a thing. Could you tell me? The city won't see the likes of it. You come here often. Enough. It's old fashioned, you know. Do you know anything about Frank? He died a few months ago. Yeah. Never saw his work. What do you think of the It's alright, I guess. I don't know what Josie sees in She likes it enough. To Liking it isn't the still. Josie's Bye, Claude. Yeah. Hmm, I'm not sure that was the way it was supposed to go down, but I'll allow it. No. Okay, let's see. Nope. Um, what was it? I had to research artists. Yep. Um, show.
what we said the thing one more thing I had to research you think they have anything on the dark lady nope um, I remember right now all right you ready to go Spell. to the gallery again hi jo I'm kind of have you ever heard of a no Thanks, Josie. Sure as it. Oh, I'm supposed to do something here. I think there was something else I was supposed to say to Claude so that he decides to leave this place. Hi, Claude. Hey. I'd really like to know. I have a rule. I don't talk. How drunk is that? I'm not sure. Do you know Monique? She was at the gallery. Uh huh. She told me my work was awful. She insulted your work. Sure. She was. Do you know Monique? She was at the gallery. Uh huh. She told me. My... She insulted. Sure. She was. Do you know anything? He died if. Yeah. Never saw. You come here. Enough. Could you tell me this? Can you tell me? Those are the guys. Yeah. You'd have to talk to. Could you tell me more? What's to say? Bye, Claude. Yeah. Hi there. Sure, ask away. Have you ever- No, sorry. Can you tell- No. No, I didn't think so. Um... Huh. Okay. But I don't remember this spot. Come in. Maybe ask Rosie about something. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm supposed to mention the notes of her. What do you know about them? Why are you looking for <laughs> Maybe. They invested in our last water under the bridge. That's the one. I assume they got their money. Not that it's any of Have you ever sorry? Have you ever sorry? Have you sorry? I'd like to know the truth of what do you mean? I told you everything I not everything. He didn't have a heart attack. Oh, I love seeing sweat on a pretty girl's brow. Look, I gave my statement. I don't see why I should tell you anything. Monique, I'm a writer. We like to exaggerate. Yes, what are you- Let's say I wanted to and that instead of dying of a heart attack, he may be choked to death under mysterious circumstances. Rosangela, Frank died of a heart attack. He didn't choke- Are you sure? Positive. If he mysteriously choked to death. And the press got wind of it, the scandal would ruin this company. It's much easier to tell the press that he died of a heart attack. He had no close family, he had no close friends to- I trust we understand each other. Leave it, kid. We don't want a legal battle. No, I have all the information I need. Okay. What else can you tell- Is it relevant? Not really. Then there you go. What do you think of Jo- Ugh, Josie's a- You left the- Cute cat. Thanks. Just between- Thanks for the- Sure. So I mentioned the Mozart before. How do I get Hi, Claude. to hey. Captain Drunker? I'd really like to. I have a rule. How drunk? I'm not sure. Bye, Claude. Yeah. Oh, let me talk to Chelsea. I don't think Josie would. Hi. I'm kind of. Have you ever heard of. No? Is there anything. No. But if you're looking to start a small business. Is there any. No. Have you ever heard. No. Have you ever. No. Huh. How long have you been. Not long. This loft opened up and I. Real estate in this neighborhood. 
Can you tell me anything? The gallery space isn't important. It's all- The more you know- Careful, Red. She's so deep you might drown. Okay. Thanks, Josie. Sure. Let me use the clue because I have none. Oops. Hey. Uh huh. I wonder if there's a good novel in all of this. Huh? I already have a title The Actor and the Artist. What do you think? I think we got a job to do. Hmm. So what should we do? Who the heck would invest in a gal? Josie said it was funded by the. Hmm. I wonder who. That's all oh, for now. Sure. I wonder. <laughs> Haven't they researched them before? That's what's missing me. You're right. Yes. Hi. Is this the Meltzer Foundation? Yes. Oh, good. Paul, this one's for you. Hmm? Oh, sure thing. Come on over and... So, I'm Paul Meltzer. Rosangela Bl A pleasure. So, what can we do for you? I was hoping to talk to you about what you did. Really? Well, well, well. Uh-huh. So, Rosangela- I'm sort of freelance. Struggling, eh? Well, that's what the Meltzer Foundation- Isn't that right, Charlie? Uh-huh. Well? The character of Paul's funny story behind his design. Ian Scheffler, the portrait artist, also known as Big Brother on the internets, he is a very, um, healthy guy. He goes to the gym a lot, he eats really well, you know, he takes care of himself. And I always envisioned Paul as being kind of a health nut. And when Ian asked me, he says, so what does Paul look like? I just kind of said, well, imagine yourself in 30 years. Uh, so that's what he did. I was wondering what you do here. You know, I wonder that myself. Hey. We give away money, Paul. That's right. We're we grant risk-free capital. You really just get... <laughs> It's about giving money away wisely. You heard the man. If you want the lowdown on... Tell me more about the fact. Let's say you have a brilliant idea. You've got bad credit. No reputable, but not us. We will loan you the money if your business takes off. If not, we... Your foundation is pretty generous. Well, we don't give money to... Charlie over there is in charge. When someone comes to us with their hand out, you wouldn't believe some of the bums. Anything else you can tell me? I've given you the basic idea. There's nothing else really to tell you. Have you ever heard of a... Hmm. Then he was a reporter for... Hey, that's it. Charlie used to work there. Hey, Charlie, did you know Joseph Mitch? Everyone knew him, Paul. He was a living legend. A living legend? How about that? Have you ever I heard of a... It. Hmm. He was... Hey, that's it, Charlie. Everyone knew A living legend? Have you ever heard of... Mm, no. Have you ever... Mm. Do you know anything about... Of course. Can you be loved healthy? Do you know anything? Of course, you look. Monique told me that you. Monique, oh, oh yeah. Yes. She's doing a great. Josie Park told me. You know Josie. She's fine, I guess. We're both rooting for her. Sure. Cube Star films became successful after Frank Lyons. Did they? I suppose they did. That benefits you too. Oh, I see where this is. What do you expect us to do? We're a private foundation. Someone died. Sure, it bothers me, but I don't see what it has to do with. Well, thanks for talking to me. Sure thing. Here, take my card. If you have any questions, just email. Oh, so you're on B-mail too. <laughs> Isn't everybody? Okay, I'm God, did you see that chick walk? Hmm? Huh? Our reporter friend. What do you mean? Yeesh. I didn't see any duck. Never mind. I didn't see any duck. I'm gonna leave now. Leave the woods. <clears throat> oh wait. Give me thorn. Is this card? Oh, 
works. I wonder if they do something like this. Playing the game out of order, are we? <laughs> kind of. Hey, it's getting kind of late. If you want to catch Claude at the gallery, we'd better head over. Okay. You ready to get? It's about time. Claude? Hey, you okay. came. You're drunk. Very much. We need to talk about who. The Dark Lady? I don't talk about- So you do know- Don't try to under- I haven't met a single- Not one. Who says I don't under- Hmm. You understand. Alright. Tell me what you- The hard lines- You think so? Oh, yes. The- Really? Excuse me. Hi, Josie. Hi, Rosangela. Are you having a good time? Hi, Nishan. Rosa, I'm surprised to see you here. You left so early the other night, I thought- Oh, no, no, I, I was just tired. Do you know anything about Claude Erden? Kind of enigmat- He's hardly said a word to- Of course, I think he's had a bit too many. I spoke to Monique. He oh, wonderful. Has. That story is fascinating. It, it certainly came in useful. You'll show me your story when it's done. You call those things stories? Shh! Hmm? I mean, sure, I'll show you. I'd be glad to. Smooth. Yep. What do you think of that painting? It stands out. I don't know who the woman is, but she looks familiar. Really. She I can't does. put my finger on who, but that expression. Such a feeling of frustration and loss. But maybe that's oh. the idea. The frustration and loss that we all feel sometimes. Very deep. Maybe. Claude is a hard person to talk. Yes. I saw you speaking with- I think you two would get along fit- What do you mean? He's an artist, you're a writer, do the math. It's not like that. <laughs> He's an artist, you're a writer, do Have you math. spoken to Claude? No, I, I do like art, but I, wouldn't it be nice if there was a guide to understanding the- Well, maybe there is. Have you spoken- I wouldn't it- No. I'm gonna look- it. Alright, Claude. So, Claude... What do you think of this Does this painting... It could. Is that what it feels? Sure. Then it does. Excuse me. Claude... What do you think of this painting? Why is one side... Well, look at it. That's a bit bleak. It's a bleak world. Can I be forward? Forward? It's been a... Really? Yes. You seem to have a greater understanding of our... I do? Listen, Rosangela... Would... Oh, call me Rosa. Rosa, I'm suffocating in here. Come meet me out on the fire escape. Hey, way to go! Claude, where are you going? Just some fresh air, Joes. I'll be- Oh, you won't, you liar. You'll be dead in a sec. We need to talk about the Countess. Yes. She's so sad. Yes. And angry. Why is she sad? She's looking for something she lost. Yeah, her mind. It consumes her every thought. Why is she so angry? I don't know. I wish I did. I think she's being forced against her will. Being turned into something she shouldn't be. Like what? I don't know. How do you know her? I see her in my dreams. She's looking for me. She hasn't found me yet, but I'm hoping my painting will help. You want her to find you? Yes. She's trapped and looking to escape. She needs me to help her. She's chosen me. Oh, I get it. He's the chosen. Why don't we ever meet anyone? Why did she choose you? Because of my work. She's dead, I think. But she will live through my work. Artists. Nuts. All of them. Claude, the Countess is dangerous. Dangerous? I've met her. She's- You? Why would she seek you? No, but I've still seen her. 
She's powerful. I just want to help her. Hey, pal, helping ghosts. Just be careful, okay? Careful? Just who are you? How do you know so much about my dream? I'm... Well, I know things. Know things? Like what? That you're messing with stuff you don't understand. And you do? Well, I I'm working on it. <sighs> That's my... Right. Teach me. I need to know. Don't look at me, kid. Look, there's... something about me. What is it? Look out! Oops. No! Too late. No! No, you... Claude! Suicide. Well, what else would they think? He was drunk and erratic and known to be temperamental. Just be thankful they didn't accuse you of killing him. Yeah, lucky. She killed him, Joey. Right in front of me. Us, kid. Us. He was opening up to me. I it happened too fast. There it's not right. Newsflash, kid. The world's a rotten place. It doesn't have to be. We have to stop her, Joey. She can't kill anybody else. Look, darling, your aunt ma- and no if Maybe. But she didn't finish the job, did she? Not exactly, no. Then I have to finish what she Good night, Joey. Good night, Joey. I'm proud of you, Rosangela. You are proving to be much stronger than he thinks I'm stu- Be wary of him. Who are you? Shh. Tomorrow you have a challenge to meet, and you must be fresh. You won't remember me, but we will meet soon. Good morning. Mm, yeah, let's go. Interesting, I should have seen here. Let's go. Hold your home. Yes. Hi. Oh, All right. well, I should have gone to the gallery first. I heard yes. And and you yes. Wow. What would put I well enough do? Well, thank you. Sure th oh yeah. What do you talk? Why do you think she gave it a rest? Hi, Josie. Rosangela. Are you okay? I'm fine. What do you mean? Well, he... C oh, he grumbled a lot. Still, at least... You're keeping the... Of course. Everything... Really? That painting behind you? That's... That's business. I'm a... I feel bad for Claude. Well, I have debts. Lucky for you. That's not fair. I've known Claude for years. He never felt his work would be seen by... That's something, isn't it? If you think so. What will you do with the... M well, a percentage of it will go to my investors. As for the rest, I don't know. I could sponsor another artist like Claude, or I could give it to Cherry. I need to think about it. Can I ask you some more? I don't think so. I'm meeting with the. Bye, Josie. Oh, I sure. Think so, Bye, Angela. What was that poem? Okay. Go back to Ellen. Hi. Help the man. Or mm -hmm. Attempt to. Nice mug. Uh -huh. What's written on it? Mind your own business. Rotten day to be out. I've seen worse. Could I ask you a couple? And who are you? Rose Angela Blackwell. Why do you want to talk to me? Uh, I'm curious see. about the light. What makes you think I know any? I'm wondering if any unusual light. Just anything. I've got nothing to say to you. 
Well, see you. Uh huh. The mug has a company logo on it. It says Gold Tech? No idea what that. You ready? To it's about. Hi. Mm. Are you Marty Gold? Yeah, who are you? Rosangela Black. What do you want? Your son. I heard what happened. You knew my boy? No, but I'm looking at- You with the police? No, but I'm sort of- well, You can't do any worse than those worthless cops. So sure, be whatever you want. How exactly was he killed? His neck was crushed. But there were no bruises on- I never heard of anything- Crushed? Yeah. Do you have any theories of your- Of course I do. It was his rival company that did it. Lazarus Technology. They did it, but I can't prove it. Anything else you can- t It was my son. He had his head in the clouds, but he wanted to change the world. And by God, he would have done it. Well, I'll be joining him soon. Why do you think this other company is involved? Look, my boy was- He was making a device that can improve the efficiency. But this other firm, it was a real race to see who'd finish it. He didn't eat. He hardly slept. Then one night he called me to say he had finished. That was the last time I talked to him. He was killed that night? Yes, and a few days late, no justice. None at all. So you think someone from Laz- It's a pretty big- I've tried calling Lazarus, but they re- They eventually put a restraint- <sighs> At least John went to his grave believing- have you ever heard of Joe? Didn't he used to write for the- Yes. I think I've read some of his work. Have you ever heard- Didn't he- Yes. I think- Have you ever heard of the Meltzer- No, I- Have you ever heard of a man named Joe Gould? You mean, Professor Siegel? You've heard of him? Sure I did. Back in the day, you'd always well, see him you. wandering the- I was a young man then. If you gave him a dollar, he'd recite poetry. For real? Who knows? Times sure have changed. Do you have any more? Why are you so interested in- I just am. Do you mind talking about- Oh, not at all. It's nice to remember those days. I can't think of anything else. Have you ever been to a bar- The Manetta? Is that place- Oh, I haven't been there for years. So you know it. I used to go there years- Can you tell me anything- What's to say? I used to live in that area when I was young. I'm surprised it's still around. Do you know anything about Franklin- The dead actor? Who isn't familiar with- I saw the movie. Don't- do you know anything about the dead I saw? Have you ever been to the No, I. Okay. Well, see you. Uh huh. That's way more than I know. Here we go Lazarus Technology. Thank you for calling Lazarus Technologies. Please choose from the following options. For general information about Lazarus Technologies, press 1. Lazarus Technologies is the world's leader in biomedical and biomechanical engineering. Lazarus Technologies is supported by a generous grant from the Meltzer Foundation. If you would like to request a product catalog, you have reached the general office mailbox. Please leave a message. Come on, let's get going. Yeah, sure. I think that was the only use of the telephone in this game. <laughs> At least she used it. Go. 
Hi, Paul. Hi again. It looks like the Park Gallery. Yes, Josie certainly has. Ha so do you. Her. Yes, there is. And all it cost was one man's death. Now that's un. Two men dead? That doesn't sound. Should it? What kind of men do you. T I have sympathy for Frank Lyon. As for the artist, you'll need more evidence than that. Two people have died. Yes, so you said. That doesn't bother you. Neither of those men have anything to. If you're looking for a conspiracy. Have you ever heard of a guy named John? Mm, no. I heard that your foundation gave money to. Oh yes, that was one of our. I heard that your found. Oh yeah. I learned something interesting about Lab. It rose to success on the shoulder. That's a strong thing to. Say. It's true. This company was an inch away from. Even if this is. It is true. Even still. Let me break it down for you, Paul. Frank Lyons dies, and Cube Star Films become successful overnight. Claude Erding commits suicide, and now the Park Gallery is selling priceless works of art. John Goldwater dies, and Lazarus Technologies becomes rich, and all these companies are represented by you. This is a total coincidence. I'm sure of it. Is it? It is. I think you should leave. I am going to get to the bottom of this. Maybe you will, but it has nothing to do with us. Now go. Be Come on, let's blow and let him stew for a while. Yeesh. She's crazy. Crazy with teeth. You gotta watch out for women like that, Scooter. Scooter? You haven't called me that- Really? Maybe I should start calling you that again. Whatever. Charles doesn't get a lot of emails, it seems. There's just a bunch of names in his inbox. Frank Lyons, John Goldwater, Claude Erden. Joey, look at this. It's like a hit list of everyone who was killed by the Countess. So Charlie was writing about each of the victims. I knew there was something fishy. Come on, let's go back there and talk. What on earth do we think of something, kid? History is repeating itself, and I don't... What was that? It looks like his inbox is being... Dun, dun, dun. My name. That's my name. That son of a mess with us, Willie. He just marked me. Look, don't worry. She might not come right away. We. She came right away. <laughs> you. You Actually killed Claude and Before the others. This. I did not kill. I, I healed them. Can it? Just back away. I only want to. I think we've had about enough of you. Back off, kid. I'm ready this time. I have to help her. Oh, yeah? Help yourself. To Where is she? She isn't far. I can sense her. You think I'm telling you- Where? Well, I know for sure she's not through that door behind you. Oh, there's still saves in this game, so... Hey! This time go right. Okay. No place to go. I can't run away unless Joey comes. Come on, Rosa. Auntie did it 30 years. <sighs> I wish you were here. That's far. Joey, leave it. Leave it. Um. Hey, look at this. Ooh, that. I wanted to help her. And look where it got. You think anyone appreciates your help? No. No! 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 Okay. How? 
how did we end up- I have brought you here. You are safe now. I have saved you. Saved me? What do you mean, saved? What did you do? Joey, did she kill me? Am I dead? I... I don't know. Lady, I suggest you start talking. There is nothing to say. You are safe now, both of you. My dear, you carry on so. You. It's you. I've been looking for you for so- Why did you leave? My poor hope. You, you cast me out. You, you broke can't. our bond. It's- What? No. Why would I do that? Your mind is so broken that you do not remember. My, my, you are a mess. You don't even know your own name. Countess, indeed. Regardless, it is time for this to end. End? Is there an end? For you, there can be. If you let me. I trust you, Madeline. I always... Rose Angela Blackwell? Joseph Malone? I'm sorry it had to be under... Unpleasant is right. Who are you? My name is Madeline. She corrupted... Can you help us? Who, as I said... And a long time ago, we were bonded. But much has changed. I know you. I have been trapped long, long, but time is short. We've got some- Yes, I'm sure. Will you help? Yes. Oh, she's killed- Killed you? But regardless, there is no time to waste. Now just relax. Hey, what's the big idea? All right, you. Talk. The pattern. They're going to fix the pattern. Talk sense, will- The source. Cut off the source and the pattern will revert. Why do I bother? Great. Trapped on another plane of existence with the Countess of Crazyville. They better know- Hey, what happened? This is where the link? The bond between your Countess and her hosts. Part of her is trapped here. Okay, there will be a lot of dialogue now. For the now here. time, I have- Please sit through. Show some- Ahem. Ah. Uh, miss. Could you perhaps spare a few dollars for the Joe Gould Fund? The Joe Gould <sighs> Fund? When I started writing this scene, I felt very weird about having the spirits of people who really existed trapped like this. Uh, I felt very weird about it. I can't quite explain why, and you know, because these are people that really existed, and I hated to think of the spirit of Joseph Mitchell trapped in a place like this you know, after he died. I hate to think that. So I decided to make them not really their spirits, but echoes of who they were. Um, it's a little bit of a cop-out, but it made my conscience feel better about putting them in the situation. So there we go. Okay. Hello. Hello. I am graduate of in exchange for a drink. I prefer gin, but I've been hearing a lot about you. My reputation precedes me. Indeed. What's your connection? Ah, uh, he may, but why is that? A cigarette. It's the meaning. You want a cig? Yes, I want a cig. How did you know that we met in the dark? She had many inter. Then, but it's everything my oral history. It's really nice. What are you doing? I don't quite know myself. We've all, as I understand, I wish I could. And the music and all the. Your words. I have had many. I studied the seagull, but before I died, with a compilation of the put together and stud. How would it have ripped? We were all connected, but how? It sounds like quite an under. It was my life's work. The Countess is killing people. Murder? No. No, I refuse to believe that. She couldn't turn a fl- Why is she called- That's what she chooses to call her. Far be it for me to tell her- The name doesn't seem strange to- When you lived a life like mine, you- I once knew another fellow without a name. Called himself the Deacon. The Deacon? Oh yes, he was this gloomy career drunk. One summer night while sitting in a- He looked up and saw the devil himself standing over him. Since that night he believed he lost his soul. Not the most charitable drinking com- No, no he wouldn't be. You knew him? Sort of. Fancy that. In the commentary for Blackwell Legacy, there was a character named the Deacon, and in the commentary I challenged you to try to find the biographical source where the Deacon is mentioned. And then in uh, the commentary for Blackwell Unbound, I gave you an, a hint. I said the same source uh, mentioned the Countess. And now I can finally tell you, because I think it's made it quite clear, uh, the thing connecting them both is Joe Gould and the book.
Joe Gould's Secret by Joseph Mitchell. Uh, Joseph Mitchell wrote that Joe Gould told him about someone named the deacon and someone named the countess. Uh, read the book if you want to find out more. But uh, that's where they came from. And uh, it's seriously underwhelming. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, that's where they both came from. I saw your portrait in the Minetta. The Minetta. Yes. I'm quite famous there, you know. I gathered. It's all thanks to Mitchell, of course. The Joe Gould Fund filled its... I'd like to read the oral history. And I'd like you to, but I'm afraid it belongs to the agent. There was also the problem of it never existing in the first place. Of course it existed, only not on paper. It was over three million words. The work transcended mere parchment and ink. What about those essays you published in the... A passing fancy, nothing more. You wrote essays? For the now defunct Dial Magazine, I still have the originals. I'd like to see that essay. Here you go. It appears to be an essay about insanity, just as well. I don't have time to read all this stuff. I don't think he'll miss this. This yeah. handwriting makes my eyes... I don't think it's important. Here you go. Always yeah. glad to share. Hello, you're Joseph Mitchell. I believe you have the better of me, Miss... Blackwell. Blackwell, huh? I might have known. In case you cannot tell, that is me reprising my role as Joseph Mitchell. I played him in Blackwell Unbound, so it seemed logical that I should play him here. Uh, I made a mistake. The, the guy who plays Joe Gould and uh, Paul Meltzer and Marty Goldwater, his natural speaking voice, he's from the South. He's got a natural Southern accent. So theoretically, it would have been logical to give him the role of Joseph Mitchell, and I just didn't think about it. I didn't even register on my head to give him the role. I really should have, because he's got a legitimate Southern accent, while I do not. So, Marcus, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was my mistake. What are you doing? We are Echoes. We were linked to the Countess. So you're not a ghost? Not fully. I remember living. All I know is that when... You met my aunt. Your auntie, yes. I, I did want her to leave well enough. Let's hope that you can do some good here. What is your connection to- I don't know. I never met the- Joe Gould was the one who knew her, but somehow he passed it on to me when he died. Next thing I knew, I was murdering people. There was no choice. I had to stop writing. I studied some of your work in Germany. Now that's just foolish. I was a relic, even before I died. The city I wrote about has long since evolved and sh- But that's New York City, isn't it? Wouldn't be New York if it stayed the same here. Did you know Charles? Yes, I did. He worked at the New Yorker back in the late... He would come into my office and ask about the old days. I knew he would never cut it as a reporter. I almost forgot all about him. But when I died, my connection to the Countess passed on to him. Charles Meltzer is using the Countess to... By accident? No, on purpose. Now, that's a shame. I'm aware that through my actions, but I could forgive myself for it. But many times I thought to myself, but I did not. I was tempted, but I you have to stop, Charles. Break this link, destroy this place. No more innocents should have to die. Why did you write about Joe Gould? He's a fascinating man. Intolerable company, but fast. He exemplified everything about New York at the time. Its artistic expression, its frustration, its joy and heartbreak. His oral history, or the idea of it, energized the work of dozens of writers and intellectuals. But the more I got to know him, the less I wanted to be around him. Did you ever read Joe Gould's oral? That it never, or if it did, Mr. Gould never shared it with anyone. You know why I never wrote it down. People would have died. You didn't stop telling people you were writing it. What could I say? The truth? They would have chucked me in a loony bin. Why don't you give him a cigarette? When you give that man a cigarette or a drink, he likes to talk. And the only subject Joe Gould likes to talk about, at length, is Joe Gould. And the only person for him to talk to is me. So, I do not give him a cigarette. How do I break the- I wish I knew. I'm afraid all this is a bit- I'm sorry you had to- So am I. But what else could I do? Let innocent- No, I don't regret the choice I- How do I- I wish I- I'm afraid all this- Would you give him a cigarette- I might. If you can get him away from me. But we can't leave this diner. And the door to that kitchen is locked. Can't you just float through the wall? Believe me, I've tried that. It doesn't work. Thanks for talking. Thank you, Miss Black. Mr. Gould. She returned. Say, can you spare a few do I'm afraid I'm a little. Fair enough, fair enough. You want a cigarette? Yes, I want a cigarette. I'll talk to you later. Sure, sure. Easy. 
What's that noise? That's weird. There's a strange glow coming. There's a strange glow. Hello? She comes, she comes. Who are you? Part of a hole left behind. Save here. Leave me. Are you the count? Countess. One of our names. Yes. I no longer live. But part of me remains. Leave me. I need to take you. No. Say warm here. I stay in warm place. To cold out. My hand goes right. No. I will survive. Leave me. Well, um, I'm talking to an oven. A sound idea. I'm sure it made more sense than most people I know. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. Such a bare and emotionless place. Not even a bottle of ketchup. Joe Gould was known for going into diners and just getting a bowl and taking a bottle of ketchup and just dumping the ketchup into the bowl and eating it. He called it uh, ketchup sansume or something like that. It's just one of these little quirky things he was known to do, and I stuck this in here as a reference to that. Oh. Oh. Mr. Gould. You return. Say. I'm afraid. Fair enough. You want to s- Yes. I'll talk to George. So, cigarette? Mr. Mitch? Yes. Gould has left. I see. Thank have you reconsidered giving him- I suppose I have been a little hard on the man. Here. I don't smoke anymore anyway. Give him the whole pack. Thanks for talking. Thank you, Miss Black. Okay. Joseph Mitchell wanted you to have. Ah, uh, nice contribution. So, Mr. Gould, she returned. Say, can you spare a few? I'm a fair enough. Liking your cigarette? It's delight here. Feel free to join. Uh, thanks. You might as well keep when a man is rich. He can afford to be generous. I'll talk to you later. Sure, sure, sure. Things to do, people to see, I understand. Um, is this warm enough? Warm. Safety. The flame will carry me. Oh, that sounds ominous. This whole diner sequence is originally quite a bit different. Originally it ended with Rosa blowing up the diner. And I kind of realized very soon that that wasn't a very good idea. So I had her do this instead. For a ghost store, it was pretty solid. Yeah, um... I don't know what kind of puzzles it would have involved if she got to blow it up, but... I also think this is better. I can't explain it, but I have the feeling that my time in this place is ending. I'm breaking the link. It'll all be over soon. Over. Yes. I can't say that I ever understood any of this. Gould was right. It's a pattern so complex, so don't try to understand it. Just live. And be happy and anyhow, you best get gone. This place is starting to fade. That's good, right? The killing will stop. This means something to you. She killed someone right in front. I want to stop that from happening. Imagine that. Genuine heart. Your predecessor was not graced with such compassion. Predecessor? Do you mean Lauren? We should not stay here. Th Come. It's broken! The bond is broken! I'm free! Way to go, Red. My head. I understand everything. Everything? I hurt people. Yes, that was you. But look, whatever happened, you can't do anything about it now. It's time. No, this should not have happened. He will not kill again. Hey! It's about time you got back here. What did you guys do? I did it, Joey. I broke the bond. Yeah, you broke it all right, and our friend just blew. She did not enter the white light? No. Oh, that is a problem. She has free will and is loose in the world. With the power she has, who knows what damage she can cause. Great. Just great. I don't know who you are, lady, and I- I have little choice in the matter. I am bound to this plane. 
What happens next is up to you. Wait! Let's get out of here. Whoa. Careful, kid. You've never been under for that. At least I'm alive. Yeah, everything's peachy. There's a killer ghost on the loose, and it's our fault. But we broke the link. You want to tell her that? Who would she want to kill anyway? I think she's going to kill Charlie Meltzer. Oh. Him. The guy who wants me dead. Yeah. Ironic as all get out. Well, let's get going. Let's indeed. I'm ready if you- Yeah. Wow, it's so dark. The door's open. This can't be good. Oh, we're too late. You... You stay back! Paul, what happened? Charles, he... he something took him. Oh, I've never no seen one. anything I... like it. What well, happened? The, the roof. Place, she took him to the roof. Let's go. The there was a stairway down the hall. Let's investigate the... Did... Did Charles really kill people? Things in the room? Yes. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I swear, I didn't know. Oh well. Give me Don't one know. reason why I should spare you. Please, I'm not a killer. I, I had no idea you were real. I am as real as death. I thought it was just wishful thinking. And just what are you wishing for? Hey! Don't enter. For over 50 years I've been a slave to false gods, but none have been more corrupt and pitiful than this one. Haven't you killed enough? I was just a tool. He used it against you. I have killed countless innocents and my hands are stained with their blood. If I must kill the false guy, it is time to reap one. No, please. The ending of this game was a little different. Uh, originally, the Countess grabbed Rosa and took off into the city. Uh, flew over the city and Joey chased after her and uh, he had to rescue her somehow and um, they ended up landing in the middle of Times Square in the middle of this big crowd and everyone's standing at them, staring at them going, ooh, and um, it was ridiculous. It was just, <laughs> I, I just decided to keep it simple, keep it tight, and keep it, keep the focus on the characters. Don't involve a whole bunch of other craziness. I wanted to keep it on the characters, so uh, in the end this is what we came up with. Nice. Okay. Wait, let me talk her first. Uh. Okay. They missed poison death. Please, you don't want to do. I know you didn't want to kill before, and you're innocent. You are wrong. I it was stolen. Ah. Huh. Okay. Let's see what Joe is saying. There she is, doing what she does best. It is. Oh God. I have no sympathy for this man. The spirit has moved on. It's less than it deserves. All right. Wait, what? It's done. You did what you had to do. Now, why don't you take a hold of this? You! You are the most guilty of all! What? What? You hey, get off! What? My death! That was self- You must be held- Okay. Now you've done it. You might have had it bad before, but now you're on my turf. Something was different about you. You're wrong. Everything- You don't know the- Wish I could, but I'm a little busy- I mean... Oh, her thing is, but... Oof! Joey? Of course it's not. She's too strong for you- Trying? Get away from her! No, that's not what I meant to happen. Wake up, Red. Damn it, wake up! This place. Yes, the light, again. Just head towards it. I went through once, and I was dragged back. It hurt. It hurt so much. The link brought you back, but it's gone now. You understand? You're free. My mind is so broken. But here, everything is so clear. That man, Meltzer, he lived? No, you killed him. Perhaps that is justice. He will not kill again. I made sure of that. But you are right. It is no longer my concern. What do you mean? Live your life. Help the lost spirits of the world. This work is more important than you will ever know. Goodbye, and good luck.
Wake up, will ya? Wake up! I'm not sp Get up or I'll kill you, you- Ugh, thank god. Fine. She- Gone? Yeah, she went through the lot. Good, then I just got one question for it. What the hell were you thinking? I thought you were- Never mind what I thought. Yeah, stupid. I don't have a life to say- Joey, I'm soaking wet, and I'm sharing a roof with a corpse. If I'm getting a lecture, I'll listen to it at- This isn't over. No, this is crazy. It's the only way. Why change what isn't broken? But it is. We can't keep blundering around- We stopped a killer ghost today. I wouldn't call that blundering. It was pure luck. We just happened to run into her while doing something else. So? So think of what we could accomplish if pe people should seek us out. What do you want to do? Put up a billboard in Times Square? No. Nice We've got work. a special place nowadays. A place where you can talk about all sorts of crazy things and it's accepted as normal. What's that? The internet. <laughs> what, that computer <laughs> what box? Else? No way. Look. Yeah, I guess. Then trust me. <sighs> if we end up in a padded room... Sure. Come on, pull up a chair. I'll show you what I have in mind. This is the third Blackwell game, and the formula is pretty well established. You investigate a ghost, you talk to the ghost, you talk to people who knew the ghost, you save the ghost, and it's pretty well established by now, and I realize that if I didn't mix up the formula and change it a bit, it'll get boring very fast, so I decided to change the formula by making them real detectives now, where people approach them with problems instead of them going to search for it. So, um, so we'll see if that works. It, it mixes things up a bit and I uh, hope it will make things not better, but different. Because uh, you gotta change the formula or else it gets stale. Yeah, that was a nice little bit. Me thinks.
The link is gone, but I still remain. How long have I been here? Trap. The others could not help me. Perhaps this new one will. She is just beginning to come into her power. I just hope she is strong enough when the time comes. Finishing a game is always uh, <laughs> is always nerve wracking. It's always an emotional roller coaster because there's the there's the extreme relief that it's off your shoulders. There's the um, heartbreak of saying goodbye to it. Uh, this game is is different than my others because all my other internal games I spent maybe two to four months working on. This one took me two years. I had to kind of temporarily put it to the side to work on a, a game for a publisher, but it was always in my head, it was always kind of hanging on me, and so now it's done and off my shoulders, and while it's nice to be moving on to new things, uh, it's hard to believe it's it's over and it's done. Um, you know, all this time, you know, I've been getting emails from you guys, you're all still fans of Blackwell, even though it's been so much time uh, between this installment and the previous one. It just, it means a lot that you guys are, are out there, you know, still praising Blackwell and encouraging others to buy it and blah, blah, blah. Blah. Uh, it means a lot to me. I have all your emails still, and it just makes it all worth it. Anyway, uh, that is really it. There's really not much else to say except thank you for playing. So until the next game, guys, thanks for playing. All right, and that's it. It just exits out of the game. All right, let me... <laughs> all right again. And... Let's so load and see what this is. Damn it! It's not working. All this ghost. Oh no! Oh, this is a bad spot as well. Okay, let's see. Can I? Like some of these games, maybe? Damn it! All this goes. I said invocation? Okay. Here it goes. Oh, he's here with Serena like this. Just then. Okay, no one like this. Oh, picture with the bridge. Very nice. And again, this is how it all started. Kind of looks maybe a little bit like the um, acting screen picture. Oh, it looks different. At least, uh, his face 
I think. Okay. And here come the bloopers again. I think you should change the word spook. Really? Why? Because it can often have racist connotations. Oh, really? Yes. Well, he's been saying that for three games already, so it's, it's too late to change that now. Right on. Well, it's obvious he's referring to a ghost. A ghost. I mean, there's a ghost right there, and he's saying spook, so it's not like it's a... It's not like he magically decided it was... It's not like Joey's magically racist. Mm -hmm. Joey, the magical racist. <laughs> haven't gotten sued yet. That's actually a new game that I think you should do. I'm glad we got out of that art gallery when we did. Yeah, you look like you were about to die of boredom. Wait, am I sarcastic? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my inclination was just to be like, yeah. And maybe pigs can fly. Let me try something else there. <laughs> And maybe you'll start dating. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's too mean. <laughs> it's the trash room, a closet for dumping garbage bags and bodies. Being I probably all the jokes. I think I think I'm probably wasting a lot fine, of space and you I've have to go through. Here, well, I can see you going through and being like, "Can't she just <laughs> shut the fuck up?" No, it makes me laugh. I have I keep a blooper reel, so it's great. <laughs> great. <laughs> Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is the loudest I will talk. I will never go that high. <laughs> ever. Ever, I tell you. You're Nishanti's friend, aren't you? The writer. Yeah, you're Monique, right? The whore. <laughs> no, she's, she's so mean. I don't like Monique. No, I'm joking. Okay. Those account books go back at least two years. I can't imagine being that organized. Ugh, organized. Org 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 <laughs> I can't imagine being that organized. Org hold on. Years. I can't imagine being that org. I keep wanting to say organized, like I've never said the word before. Organized. Well, I don't know why. It's because I got a microphone in front of my face. I'm like, I can't pronounce words. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. Go. That was a ghost burp. Actually, a lot of people don't know how to do that. It takes a lot of training. You have to die first. It's really common. exactly, and then I have to bring myself back. It's fucked up. Does that actually work? Apparently, yes. I know. It magically opened oh, the yeah, door. Exactly. Some people think lava lamps are tacky, but I think they're cool. She's such a nerd. Hey, think we're done? Let's poke around some more. <laughs> you have a filthy mind. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it's fake, but you can hardly tell. Yeah, they're fake, but you can hardly tell. <laughs> <laughs> I waste so much time. I apologize. I can't no, help it. Awesome. It's, it's all... <laughs> Death laugh. Yes, indeed. What's that? Uh, can you just talk again? Or just sure, sure. This is Joey Malone, the real Joey Malone. Not any of my impersonators or people who play me at uh, conventions. Uh, though many of those people are very talented, they are not the real thing. <laughs> I want to see a Blackwell cosplay one day. I totally want to see Blackwell <laughs> cosplay. Are you kidding? Yes. That would rock. Mm. Um. <gasps> Am I boring you? No. <laughs> yawning is a great sign. It means I'm breathing properly. Okay. I'll, I'll, I mean, uh, yeah, you're boring me, but <laughs> yawning. <laughs> I know. I'm really <laughs> Uh, excuse me. At some stage, you'll have to do a compendium of all the belches that I've <laughs> emitted during the recording of these games. It'll be the length of a game. How'd you know I come? <laughs> Shut up, that's your line. <laughs> I, I know, I'm just waiting for you to say something. No, I decided not to that time, and so, screw you, because you came up with it. <laughs> I think that that's like... Handing you the line on a silver plate. I know it you're, is. You're too good for it. I'm too good for it. I ignored <laughs> that one. It has to be more subtle. I'm not stealing Monique's things. Am I? Am like, I telling myself you're I'm not stealing? The player, basically, or uh, I'm not stealing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're not. I didn't know if I was trying to convince myself. I'm not stealing Monique's <laughs> things. <I'm> just borrowing <laughs> them. We'll put them back in the next game. 
I can't touch him. I can't touch him. I can't touch him. All right, uh, not going to do it like MC Hammer. Uh, I was thinking that I am, in fact, legit enough to quit. I can't see anything in there. Do you want me to make this bigger for you? Can you see? No, I'm. Oh, okay. I'm pretending I'm looking through a window. Because oh. <laughs> you're like squinting through a window. No, I know. <laughs> Get it? I can't see anything. I got it. I yeah. Got it. Uh, this is referring to a glass of wine. I usually have one glass before bed. I usually have one glass before bed. <laughs> Believe me. And another thing. <laughs> I don't like the way you smell. <laughs> now for the... Abe Goldfarb school of uh, a voiceover. I usually have one glass before bed. Although, believe me, there are days I could drink the whole bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Just the thought of more alcohol. Oh, I'm going to laugh. Impression? <laughs> <laughs> Slightly less dramatic. Which I'm sure you're going to save this and play it for him later. Oh, you know. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Drinking. <laughs> 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 okay, now I'll just read the line. We'll just we'll just read the line. Yeah. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, I found him on the street. Literally, but he's made his blop. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That means we're going to do that again. Okay. That's my language. Nice view from up here. <laughs> I'm looking at the wall. Nice view. Maybe I'll check out your view. Ah, uh, nice view from up here. You're like, all right, let's just move on. That sucks. I was waiting for you to make a crack about my view. No, no, seriously. <laughs> nice view from up here. <laughs> yeah, you look like you were about to die of boredom. <laughs> Get it? Because you're dead. Because <laughs> you're totally rotting in the ground as we speak. <laughs> oh, shit, that's hilarious. Claude's work is mostly abstract, but this is actually a, of a split beep yum 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 yum. <laughs> All right. This is a cat now. <laughs> All right. I imagine it being like the two guys in the box seats at uh, Muppets okay. on the Muppets. <laughs> like two vaudeville comedians are like, they're not saying anything funny, but it's just like, you've got bad credit. We're in debt for a long time. You know, and then the other one. <laughs> says something he's like the straight man but paul's the crazy one it's about giving money away wisely you heard the man and i'm just like what the f is going on just head towards it frank that's all you need to do just just head towards it frank that's really all you need to do not like that i know come on you got thousands of other dead people waiting right behind you. <laughs> Don't be a pussy, Frank. Uh, how many can say the same, huh? You're bigger than you think. Really? I was just waiting for the innuendo and you did not rise to it. I'm very proud of you. What? You're bigger than you think. Oh, no, I didn't even consider it. Well, you're, you're, you are. You're the perv. You're, you're, you're <laughs> I am losing my touch. I'll, I'll come back with a vengeance. <laughs> I can't believe I missed that one. I'm a loser. How do we find her? Didn't she give you a business card? Oh yeah, she did. Oh yeah, she did. I like how you're like reaching to your pocket, like, oh yeah. I know, <laughs> I'm about to be like, oh yeah. It's right here. See you at the art gallery. Later. Or not. Sorry. <laughs> that was, I tried to save it as best I could. It didn't work. Joey, who was that? Joey, WTF. <laughs> a little lost, are we? You have the sense of direction of a retarded goose. Okay, let me say it again. <laughs> no. Um, no. All right. That's not in the script. That's not at all in the script. I don't know, Joe's. Yeah, this... What? What? Just 
Uh, sometimes you got to get that just the yeah. the stickiness of the tongue out. Just let it just say whatever. Rosangela Blackwell. Rosangela Blackwell. Rosangela Blackwell. Ah, uh, it's good <laughs> enough. I give up. <laughs> oh God, you can't even say her own name right. <laughs> Rosangela Blackwell. Oh, what a neat name. <laughs> But then there's a, like a, a knock on the door. Step again. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, crap. I didn't even think about it. The minute my fist touched the door, I was like, what a retarded <laughs> ass move. No, what a retarded <laughs> ass dog. <laughs> no way. He's protecting. I, he the minute I went like this, I was like, no. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He'll, he'll calm down. <laughs> being turned into something. Mm. Being. Mm being turned into something she shouldn't be. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> that is Rosa on an acid trip. <laughs> That's Rosa becoming a ghost. Are we going to check out this Mineta place or what? Sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't hold it back, man. <laughs> Trying to save your butt. Yeah, that's nice. But, <laughs> but, you get to say but. <laughs> no, 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 you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> it would just be so fucking hilarious. Countess throws Claude over the edge. No, you didn't. Uh uh. <laughs> I will choke your ass. Joey, did she kill me? Am I dead? I don't know. That was, that was nice. I don't know. <laughs> like, what good are you, Joey? <laughs> you dumb dead fuck. <laughs> I'm a wacky ghost. <laughs> I wear a hat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just how wacky he is. I'll wear a hat. I, I so know. I hang out with ghosts and I fall in love with homeless people? <laughs> Homeless artists. Rosa, come on. Okay, and that's it. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.